Welcome back to The Bible is Art. We explore literary artistry of the Bible, and this week I want to talk about the genius of God through Magnus Carlsen, the greatest chess player alive. So there was this fascinating video of two chess grandmasters, that's the highest designation in chess, Jan Gustafsson and Magnus Carlsen. Now, if you're aware of chess, you know this, but Magnus Carlsen is the greatest chess player alive and probably will be of all time. And in this match, Gustafsson doesn't know that it's Magnus who's playing, they're playing the computer. So I want you to take a look at how you have one chess player who's great, interacts with someone who he doesn't know, but who's much higher in skill than him. And notice the kinds of things that he says. Mm, it's just humiliating. Also very confused by his style because he doesn't make any sensible moves, no offense. But somehow he keeps tricking me. Just blitzing out stuff. Bishop b4 takes bishop d3. Are you serious? Either he's the biggest genius in the world or this is weird. Yeah, this looks mm. way, way over my head. I'm not sure what's going on there, Mr. Solomon. That's too strong for me. Either he's the biggest genius in the world or this is just weird. So I want you to notice something about like the psychology of what's going on here. Jan has this thing here and it's great, it's above him. It's a, and notice how he describes it, right? It, it, it doesn't seem to make sense, it's weird, but at the same time, it's not just sort of like other and like chaotic, but there's a glimmer of some sort of pattern or some sort of greatness here. There's a sort of hint that there, there might be something unbelievable. And at the end of the day, he beats him, right? And he constantly, he says, tricks him over and over again. Now, what I think this is a helpful image of is a helpful image of God and man to help us understand this because sometimes we view God as this high thing over here and then us and then how we characterize that relationship is say, well, God is so crazy and out and there that he's just completely other. Then you get a strain of theology called apophaticism and it'll say, you know, the only thing that we can know about God is what he's not or this negative theology, right? You have this sort of like dark void because God's so high, he's so unknowable that this, this is over here. But I think this is a good example of how actually genius things that are above us can come to us, right? And it comes to us in the sense of both a sense of this is strange, this is weird, it might seem unsensible, but actually it's very sensible, it's higher than us, right? But there's also a sense of there's something about this pattern here that I can recognize that there is goodness, there's value, whatever term you wanna put in it, there's something amazing going on here, but it's so far beyond me. But notice it wasn't like, this is completely crazy, it's completely chaotic. No, there was something else there. And notice another thing. When we read in the Bible or in our lives of things that say like, it doesn't make sense, or it seems crazy, or it seems weird, we could see that there are situations that we are accustomed to where you have someone of great high intelligence who, while it may seem like that to us, it's indeed not. Because when someone is of so much higher greatness than you, the things that they do will appear to be all of these things to us, nonsensical. It doesn't seem to follow. It doesn't seem to fit in. It seems weird, right? That is to say, that's what we should expect out of God. We shouldn't expect things to be sort of perfectly in line. That would be a sort of marker of someone who is not of a great and higher authority and majesty and beauty like God is to us. Thank you so much for checking out the video this week. I really do appreciate it. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments below. You can support the channel at patreon.com slash the Bible is art. If you'd like to be notified when there's a new video, um, I just send out a quick small email um, whenever there's a new one and you can sign up for that at uh, the Bible is art.com slash newsletter and I'll see you in the next video.